The sky is falling. Welcome back to another video from SlideCow. My name is Yo-Yo and together we're going to make your slides amusing. I've been getting a lot of messages lately on making something quote unquote quick and easy. Therefore, we're going into an easy and fun tutorial this week. We're going to make a three step infographic similar to what you're seeing right now. The beauty of this slide is that it's completely adaptable. What do I mean by that? Well, let's just say you have more than two paragraphs of text here on the first step. All you have to do is just grab these two components here, move them all the way up and move this box over here all the way up. And then depending on how many paragraphs you have, you can just, you know, go crazy. So I'm just going to do this and then I'm going to do this. And let's just say it looks something like that. Ta-da! Easy peasy. And you can do the same for this one. Or you can stretch it out to the right. You get the idea. I'm glad to say that I'm going to show you how to make lots of these in the future. In different designs and in different variations. So if you're not too excited about this design, don't worry. There will always be more. The important thing to recognize though is that all these step-by-step -step infographics serve the same purpose. They set a pace for your audience to follow and allow them to sequence the logic on the slide through illustrations rather than numbers and blocks of text. Anyway, let's get into this one. Step one, pick the icons you want to use for your infographic. Over here, I have four icons. Let's just bring them to the middle. I have one base icon and I have three process icons. What does this mean? Well, the base icon right here, as you can see, is sets the foundation for the entire slide and therefore the entire process. So when you have something like this on your slide, your audience will start to say, ah, oh, okay, so this whole process has to do something with the cloud, right? The process icons are specific to the step. So over here, for example, step one, it's something to do with the computer. Step two is something to do with the brain. And step three is something to do with the guy pointing towards a blackboard or a window or a screen or whatever. This way, your audience is better able to divide and sequence information as they see fit. Now, I understand a lot of you do not know how to import icons into your PowerPoint slide. I also know a lot of you don't have the insert icons option, similar to what you're seeing over here. Uh, in your PowerPoint software. If that sounds familiar to you, then don't worry. Just click on the info tab at the top right and click on the video where we show you how to bring any icon you want, completely editable, completely customizable, right into your PowerPoint slide. Step two, make your infographic. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these icons out of the way and I'm gonna go to insert. I'm gonna click on shapes and I'm gonna click on something called the block arc, right? I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna expand the size so it looks like a big chunky rainbow except it's just one color which goes against the meaning of a rainbow anyway but hey what do I know about rainbows so I'm just gonna place it on the guide that you see over here and I'll show you why I did that in a bit we're going to make this chunky rainbow into a thin wet noodle <laughs> so we're gonna press on this yellow circle over here and we're just gonna make it thin and the reason why I use the guide is so I know it's a perfect semicircle I don't want something that looks like this or something that looks like this anyway we're just gonna make something thin but not too thin something that looks like this is fine all right let's just make the size smaller like so and let's just put that somewhere in the middle let's just make that a bit smaller in the middle. like this is fine and uh, make sure that you raise it a bit so there's a considerable amount of space here so we can add our arrow thing that you see over here. So um, I'm going to make this gray, a very lightish gray, so I'm going to like this, and I'm going to remove the outline, all right? Now we're going to include our arrow that we have over here. We're going to click on Insert, Shapes, and we're going to click on this arrow that you see here, the block arrow, arrow, column right. And we're just going to do something that looks like this from side to side. Something looks like that. That's perfect. So you want to make sure it's the same color as your uh, semicircle. So click on your semicircle, click on home and click on format painter. And then click on your arrow that you see over here. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to include the circles. So we're going to click on insert. We're going to click on shapes and we're going to click on this little circle thing here. We're not going to make them too big. But we're not going to make them too small either. This size seems just about right. We're going to put one on the left side over here and we're going to press a control shift and move one to the right so it's directly in the middle and then one right again so that's just on the right side of your infographic over here. The middle one over here is just going to be moved up a bit so it looks something like this. Highlight them all and click on format, shape outline, no outline. None of your shapes here have an outline by the way. 
So um, we're just going to color them in now so we have an easier indication on the color uh, later down the line when we start to uh, edit our slide. Um, so I'm going to make the left one here a light bluish color, the top one here a yellowish color, and the right one here an orangish color. I like that word, orangish. It's a nice word. All right, perfect. Now, what we're going to do is I'm just going to make this a bit smaller so I can make some room for my text. So we're going to highlight everything and we're going to press a control G and we're going to make it smaller like so. And I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to bring it to the left. All right, perfect. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my icons. So I'm going to take my base icon that you see over here and I'm going to bring it into the middle and I'm just going to blow up this icon, make it huge, right? Something like this. Um, do, do, do. Let's just make that smaller now. And that looks dandy. Okay. I'm going to change the color of this to a darker blue color, something similar to what I had over here. For this, I'm just going to use the eyedropper tool. So right there. And now I'm just going to use the three icons you see over here. So uh, computers up first. Let's just make this guy small. Put him in the middle. Just uh, highlight it and then click on bring to front and then bring to front again and bring him to the middle like so. Click on home. Sorry, format and then graphics film in white. And do the same for the other two. Bring to front. front make that a bit smaller okay just the format painter this one and this one okay so now we have our infographic hooray it looks great what we're going to do now is we're going to introduce our little text boxes including the numbers and the title and the yada 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 so um we're going to go to insert and we're going to go to shapes and we're going to click on the rectangle uh, shape here we're going to start with the middle one first and i'm going to show you why draw a big shape and make sure that it's directly in the center of your slide, as you can see here, all right? Um, let's just make that shape a bit bigger, so it looks like that, yeah, that's fine. Something like that. Yeah, that's fine. So you wanna take this shape, hold control, and move it down to the left side here. You wanna make sure that this shape does not impact the infographic. It does not overlap like this, right? So if, for example, your shape at the top here was too big, and you moved it downwards, something like this, it would be overlapping your infographic. We don't want that. We don't want that, right? So um, this actually looks fine for now. So that looks fine. Yep, see, it's perfect. It's good to go. This is now our text box, or at least the foundation for our text box. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on format. I'm gonna click on shape fill. I'm gonna make this a very light gray with no outline, all right? And I'm just gonna put any random text that I see fit. So for right now, this text looks fine, I think. That. Let's just change the font color, move it and sorry, justify it and reduce the font size to around 12. And that looks dandy. All right. Now we're just going to reduce the size of this box over here and it bring in our headers similar to what you see over here. So um, I'm going to click on insert shapes and then click on this rectangle over here. And I'm going to make this rectangle something like this. Notice how I'm not attaching it to the gray box. I'm leaving some space. It gives it that cool, crisp effect, you know, that gap uh, of you taking advantage of your white space a little bit more. So I'm going to, let's just make that a bit smaller in width, actually. So I'm going to also make another text box right next to this one by pressing on this and pressing Control, Shift, and dragging it to the right, leaving a bit of a gap here just dragging it out where um, this, the right side of this box also is in line with the right side of this box over here. And uh, both of these are yellow. So I'm gonna highlight this and this, click on format, click on um, the shape outline, no outline, and let's make this yellow. And now we're just gonna put in the numbers and titles. So for this one, it's gonna be number two. And this one's gonna be title. Let's just change the font for both. Home. Perfect. And we're going to bring this up now, like so. Bring down this text box, like so. Delete the title thing here. Bring that up. Make it a bit thinner. Something that looks like this. All right, perfect. Stretch it out. Bring 
that down over here and perfect okay we finished our second one so now it's just really easy making it for our first and for our third we're gonna highlight everything and we're gonna drag and drop and because everything's in a square it's easy for us to align so we have one over here and one over here and then it's just a matter of us taking this 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 and changing the color to something that looks like that and changing that to number one and then doing the same for this one format shape fill three and we are done and remember it's extremely flexible let's just delete those things it's extremely flexible so if for example i had more more to say in this box over here i could just highlight these two boxes bring them all the way up and increase our text box to something like this just add how many paragraphs i want so we can go something like this 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 mm, sorry not like that but yeah you get the idea so it's very 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 flexible um thank you all for watching but just keep in mind, there are always variations that you can make to your slide. This is a variation I made with mine. So this is taking the exact same principles you see over here, right? But it turns this into uh, more of a, let's say a clipboard sort of feel, right? So that's the idea behind innovation and design. It all works for whatever you think would work for you. That is the beauty of PowerPoint design. This will not take longer than this. It's all up to you. That's the beauty of it. Thank you all for watching. I have a huge surprise coming up within the next one to two weeks. I've been working hard on something and I really, really hope that you guys are gonna enjoy it. I really do. And I can't wait to show it to you guys, but I can't yet. So just give me one to two weeks and I promise I will. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please do like, comment, share, and subscribe. I would truly appreciate it if you did all those things. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.